What's up guys, Chenzo here. If you've been camping with me for a while, you know that I usually like to take a budget-friendly approach when it comes to my camping gear. However, like most of us, I do enjoy researching, reviewing, and testing out new gear to fine-tune my camping system and to hopefully enhance my experience in the great outdoors. So in this video, I'll show you my five favorite upgrades that I've acquired over the past year. These items are a step above the basic gear that most of us campers start out with, but in my opinion, these pack in a lot of value for the money. And in fact, most of these come in at less than 100 bucks. So let's take a closer look. First up is the Trustfire Mini X3. This pocket light is not only rugged, sturdy, and ergonomic, but it also packs in a ton of features into a small pocketable form factor. If you ask me, the light you carry in your pocket should not only be the most durable, but also the most versatile. So when Trustfire sent me the Mini X3, it quickly replaced my old 45 lumen battery powered microstream. It has four light modes ranging in intensity from three and a half lumens on the low end to 1050 lumens on the high end and includes a warm side light, a UV light, and a laser pointer. High at 215 lumens and the highest setting is 1050 lumens. The Mini X3 offers campworthy durability with an IP65 waterproof rating. I don't recommend submerging it in the ocean, but I also don't mind having it in my pocket when the weather turns bad or when I'm landing a big fish. Charging is done conveniently with a USB-C port, so you don't have to pack extra batteries. In my opinion, an S-clip is a must-have feature on a pocket light. The S-clip allows you to clip it to your pocket, your hiking bag, or your hat, which is one of my favorite ways to use this light. And lastly, my favorite feature is the magnetic tail. I find this extremely practical as I often use my truck as a base camp. In fact, I'm currently switching out all of my lights for magnetic lights as it's become an essential feature for me when camping out of my truck. The Mini X3 is available through the link in the description and Trustfire was kind enough to provide a 15% off discount code. Those details will be down below as well. Up next is the Bushcraft Chef Knife from Maxa. If you follow the channel, you know that we do a lot of camp cooking here and a lot of food prep. Until recently, I was just getting by with a generic knife from one of those Amazon camp kits. But a few months ago, Maxa sent me a knife that claimed to be a chef's knife and a bushcraft knife in one durable and elegant package. I'll admit, I was a bit skeptical of a do-it-all camp knife, but I've been using and abusing this knife for the past few months and it's turned out to be an absolute beast of a camp blade and is now my go-to knife for food prep. With a full tank steel blade, this thing slices like butter and retains an edge after months of use. This knife shines in the kitchen, but is also beefy enough for some heavier tasks. The combination of a sharp, resilient blade, durable micarta scales, and a bright orange kydex sheath make this another awesome camp-worthy upgrade. In my lineup, it serves as a primary chef knife and a backup bushcraft knife if needed. Right now, these go for about 98 bucks on the Maxa website, but feel free to use my discount code to receive an additional 15% off. Details and links will be in the description below. This next upgrade is my personal favorite. Organizing and mobilizing my camping gear has made a huge impact on my camping experience, and the Craftsman Versa Stack is the rolling storage box that helped me get it done. This 30 gallon container comes with a retractable handle and a set of wheels and offers an IP54 rating to keep the dirt, dust, and rain off of my gear. On top of that, it's also modular, so you can customize it to fit your needs. If you're still using a dusty old bin like I did for years, I'd strongly recommend considering this upgrade. I've already done a full review on this box, so be sure to go watch that video if you'd like to learn more. The VersaStack goes for 80 to 90 bucks at Lowe's, but I'll drop a link in the description if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. And as a bonus upgrade, I'd also recommend the Heart Overloader. This $48 rolling toolbox from Walmart makes a great mobile camp kitchen and is a perfect companion to the VersaStack. I've also done an in-depth review on this box, so feel free to check it out if you want a closer look. My next upgrade is a small power station that stores enough juice to keep all of my electronics topped off 
and then some. After using this small anchor power station for a while, I quickly realized I needed more power and more charging ports. The Jackery Explorer 300 Plus was the natural upgrade as it offers a 288 watt hour capacity and multiple charging options, including a USB-A port, two USB-C ports, a car plug port, and an AC port. The 300 Plus is on the smaller side of power stations, but it's enough to keep all of my camera batteries charged for a weekend, and it can power my electric blanket all night. It charges in less than two hours via the AC input, and in about eight hours via the foldable 40 watt solar panel. It offers plenty of power for the weekend warrior, but if you're looking to run something bigger like a camp fridge, I'd recommend going with a bigger unit. For the next upgrade, we're gonna get back into the lighting category with the Goal Zero Lighthouse Mini Core Lantern. Much like the pocket light I reviewed earlier, the Lighthouse Mini is small, but packs in a ton of useful features. It includes a pre-attached charging cable, collapsible legs, and a light adjustment knob so you can dial in exactly the amount of light that you want. One feature that I think is cool is the tripod thread on the base of the lantern. And once again, my favorite feature is the magnetic base. With all of these deployment options, you can hang, mount, stand, or stick the Lighthouse Mini just about anywhere at camp. The only con to this lantern is that it doesn't have an IP rating, and it seems like it could be easily damaged if it gets wet. The Lighthouse Mini comes in at 40 bucks on Amazon, which is about twice what I paid for a pair of these basic camp lanterns. For the added utility, brightness, and mounting options, I'd say it's money well spent. As a bonus upgrade, I want to mention the rooftop tent that I've picked up recently. This upgrade didn't make the original list because I don't think a rooftop tent is for everyone and it's definitely not a camping necessity. However, the price of rooftop tents has decreased dramatically over the past couple of years, so I decided to try one out for myself. The TMBK3 from Overland Vehicle Systems is currently the cheapest rooftop tent sold on Amazon at 900 bucks. I've already tested it in the rain, during high wind, and in full sun. So far I've really enjoyed this tent, and if you want to know more, feel free to stick around for the full review. But that should do it for this one guys. As always, thanks for watching, stay stoked, and I'll see you in the next one.